and students, Ma'am Lynn is here once again for our video lesson. Today, we will talk about the last number two, which is Triangle Inequality Theorem. In this lesson, you will learn that not all measurements of lengths can actually form a triangle. How are we going to know that? That's what we're going to talk about today. But before we will start, let me remind you to pre uh, prepare with you your last for notes and your answer sheets, ball pen, and of course your scratch paper so that you can have um, practice yourself with examples. So, to begin with, So, our next lesson is on triangle inequalities, which is we will talk about triangle inequality theorem. Okay, what is triangle inequality theorem? According to your notes there in your last number two, the sum of any two side lengths of a triangle is greater than the third side length. What do you mean by that? So if we're going to translate that in Bisaya, if you have this figure, triangle A, B, C, this Triangle inequality theorem simply means that side AB plus another side BC, meaning this side plus this side, should be greater than the other side or the other remaining side AC this side okay and another is side BC which is this side plus side AC which is this side this one must be or should be greater than the remaining side that we haven't mentioned, which is side AB. Another is side AC, this side, plus side AB, this side, must be greater than or should be greater than the remaining side that we haven't mentioned, B, C. Okay, do you get the theorem about? Kung sa Bisaya pa siya, class, um, imo daw i-plus ang measurements, yung sa kataas. Kaning isa ka side, and the other side, dapat, kung imo siyang isumpay, dapat mas taas pa siya sa ikatherd nga side. So, din his atong statements. Say, for example, if AB is the first side, first side, and then the BC is the second side, kung imo daw na siyang isumpay or imong i-add up ilahang measurement, the answer should be greater than, this symbol is greater than the third side, which is side AC. And if we're going to change positions, Kung si BC ang atong mahimong first side and si AC mahimo na tong second side, kung ato po na siyang sumpayon or i-add up ang ilahang measurements, ang answer should be mas dako kumpara sa third side nga si AB. Okay, so kung i-change na po na siya ang position, if AC will be our first side and AB is our second side, kung ato na siyang i-join or ato na siyang isumpay, or i-add up ang ilang measurement, ang answer must be greater or dako kumpara sa third side nga si BC. Do you get that? So, bisag unsa nga, bisag asaan ang duha ka side sa isa ka triangle imong isumpay, dapat mas taas or mas dako ang iyong measurement kumpara sa ikatulong nga side. 
Okay, so you will learn that more or you will understand more of it when we are going to go to examples. But before we're going to go to examples with um, actual lengths given, let me show you some example or illustration using actual objects. Whether these, the, the lengths of these measurements of these sides could really form a triangle. Wait a moment. Okay. So I have here, I have here sample objects. Um, sad to say that I was not able to um, gather uh, some materials like a straw because it is not available uh, anymore in the market since um, bawal ang magamit og straw so I only have to use this ruler, ball pen and the uh, fastener so let's first um, measure each material so this is a ruler so we will use centimeter for our measurement unit of measurement this ruler is 30 centimeter so for example if we have 30 so we use a centimeter nga one unit so natay is a object which measures 30 and ang fastener is actually 8 point we'll just say this is 9 9 centimeter and the ball pen is Let's just say this is 15, 15 centimeter. So let us see if this length or these materials gathered can actually form a triangle. Remember that a triangle is a polygon or a closed polygon. So, dili siya pwede nga nagnganga. So, dapat closed gyud siya both ends. So, as you can see there, bisag kung saan at ato niya stretch of sulay, kay nagnganga man siya. So, ato siyang stretch. Stretch, rather. Okay, look at that. So, wala na siya nagnganga. Na closed figure na siya. Pero, na ay naglabaw din nga length sa isa ka material which is the ruler nga wala na apil sa triangle which is dili pwede because we stated that we have one material which measures 30 cm so kani siya dili siya pwede mahimo og triangle nga na ay naglabaw so how are we going to form a triangle with these lengths Kung dili po nato siya ibangin fastener dako kay open kung stretch po nato iiro po nato ang ball pen dili gihapon so, if we're going to try to add up, isumpay na to ning duha ka length. Uh, let us say, this is the first side and the second side. Kung ato na siyang isumpay, then ato da yung ikumpara sa ika-third side, which is the ruler. Dili, ang result niya is, mubo git siya kumpara sa third side. Bilabaw pa ang ruler. And according to the theorem, nga isumpay daw ni mo ang duha ka sides dapat mas dako or mas taas pa siya kumpara sa third side so that you can form a triangle but in this case that we have here dili siya mo abot or dili gali siya maskin mo tupong lang sa ruler or sa third side nato diba so obviously we cannot form a triangle in these given lengths which which are 39 and 15 so if we're going to solve that for example, if we don't have this material to prove whether we can form a triangle or not, let us just examine the given measurements here. 30, 9, and 15. According to the theorem, dapat, kung i-plus ni mo ang duha ka sides, dapat mas dako siya kumpara sa ikatulong sides. So let us 
do first the 30 and the 9. Let's add the two sides. 30 plus 9 must be greater than, according to the theorem, must be greater than the third side that we have, which is 15 centimeter, so that we can form a triangle. In this case, we have 30 plus 9, it is 39. And it is indeed greater than 15. So this must be true. How about if we're going to change position? Oh, let's have another uh, two sides. Say, for example, 9 and 15. Ah, no. Kanisang isa. How about we have 30 and 15? We have 30 and 15 must be greater than the, the other side, which is 9. 30 plus 15, we have 45, and which is obviously greater than 9. We can... That's right. So, pwede siya. But what about the last pair? Say, for example, if we're going to add up two sides, two sides which are 9 and 15, that must be greater than the last side, which is 30. What is 9 plus 15? That is 24. But sad to say that 24 is less than 30 and not greater. So in this case, 24 is less than 30. We cannot, we cannot form a triangle. Okay, so we must undergo this three process so that we will know if we can form a triangle in the give, uh, with the given measurements. But, dapat silang tulod yun, mahimong true. Dapat dako yun ang duha ka length kumpara sa third length. But sad to say, in these measurements, sa duha lang siya nahimong pwede. Pero pag ikatulo na, dili na siya pwede. Kahit sa 24 on two lengths, which, is, which are 9 and 15, or, or is less than the third side, which is 30. So, maodi ay nga, gani na dilita makaporma o triangles ato ang figure nga gi buhat. Okay, so, um, medyo siya taas, but I can teach you a short way to know whether the measurements given can actually form a triangle or not by just having or by just adding one side. So, once lang ta mag add. But we will do that later. Let's have a um, series of examples for this. So, masabta ninyong maayo. But this time, we will not use any more materials. Let's just deal with numbers, given lengths, measurements. Okay, in your last, we have here example A. Use the triangle inequality theorem to tell whether a triangle can have sides with a le given length. So, din sa example, gisulayan yun ang tulok a process which is giad ang every two lengths and compare to the last or the third length kung dako bagyad ang duha ka length kung para sa ka third. So, tanaw na to. Let's have given number one, we have five, eight, and ten. Para sa itong ibuhat ganina, let's add any two sides. At usang unahon ang first two, which is 5, 8. 5 plus 8 must be greater than the third side, 10. What is 5 plus 8? That is, that is 13. 13 is indeed greater than 10. So in this case, this is true. Okay, next is... We will add another two sides. Let's have 5 and 10. Um, 5. Muni siya ang given, ha? 5 plus 10 must be greater than 8. 5 plus 10 is 15. And that is indeed greater than 10. So in this case, it's true. How about the last two pair sides? So, let's have 8 and 10. Ganun silang dua. 
8 plus 10 must be greater than the third side, which is 5. 8 plus 10 is 18, and indeed, it is greater than 5. This is true. So, sa tuluka sides ng atong try out, we get, we got true in all, in all trials. So, therefore, we can say that a triangle can have length 5, 8, and 10. Okay, so this can form a triangle. Okay, next example number two. In your last given, we have for example A number two, we have 7, 9, and 20. Okay, let's try. This is our given. We have 7 plus 9 must be greater than 20. And we have 7 plus 20 must be greater than 9. And lastly, we have 9 plus 20 must be greater than 7. 7 plus 9 is 16. Is it greater than 20? It's not. So this is false because 16 is smaller than 20. How about this? 7 times uh, 7 plus 20 rather that we have 27 and it's greater than 9. So in this case here, we got true. Here, 20 plus 9 is 29 and it is indeed greater than 7. In this case, this is true. But we have one result here which is false. So therefore, delete siya pwede. Kung pariha ganina, delete ang makaporma o triangle. So we can say that a triangle cannot have lengths 7, 9, and 20. So cannot form a triangle. Okay. So, do you understand what I am talking about? Can you relate to our discussion? Can we proceed now to activity? To the second activity? Okay, but we still have here example letter B. Before we proceed to our activity 2A, I've mentioned earlier that I will teach you a short way to discover whether the given measurements of length can actually form a triangle or not. So this is how you're going to do that. In our previous example, we have given that ruler, fastener, and ball pen we had 30 centimeter and the other is 9 centimeter and 15 centimeter what you're going to do so that you will not um, try all of those uh, three trials to see whether any two sides are greater or is greater than the third side so ang atong buhaton guys is mamili ta og duha ka sides that are shorter so, sa ani nga tulo kasay, I mean measurements, 39 and 15, asa man ani ang pinaka-short nga side. Okay, we know that it is 9. And then, the second short side is 15. So, na siya ang atong i-plus. And that should be greater than 30 or the third side, 30. So, 9 plus 15 is 24, greater than 30, that is false. So, therefore, we just these two sides or two shorter sides, atong mabalan kung makaform ba siya o triangle or dili. So, since it is false, then we cannot form a triangle. So again, ang sara gani atong i-add, atong pilion ang two shorter sides, atong i-plus, and then i-compare na to sa longest 
side. So in this example, the longest side that we have is the 30 centimeter. So gi add ni mo ang doka shorter size 9 and 15. The answer is 24. And obviously, it is less than 30. So we say that it is false. Kaya ang gusto na to greater man sa longest side. So we can say that these lengths cannot form a triangle. Last example for this. Our previous example also gave us 7, 20, and 9. Now, which of these measurements are the two? Uh, are the shorter ones? So, we need to shorter measurements. So, that is 7 and 9. So, we will add them up. And it should be greater than the greatest length or the longest length, which is 20. So, 7 plus 9, it's 16. Greater than 20 or not? Obviously, not. Therefore, this statement, 16 is greater than 20, is false. Dili tinuod. Kay gamay man siya. So, we say that these 7, 20, and 9 measurements of lengths for a triangle cannot actually form a triangle. Okay? Sayon na no, isa ra ka, ka mag-add. Then, mabala na rin mo kung maka-form ka o triangle or dili. So, this time, we will proceed to activity 2A. Note that, kinilang ato ang activity 2A, ang inyong ansiran, dira sa inyo ang math answer sheets because, as you can see, letter B there, activity, activity 2, letter B, is already solved. So, wala na even nga atong kinahanglan isolve diha na nai answer daan. And then, below of this, is, if you can still remember ka nang B solve the following problems. This is, or this was the given problem that we had the previous topic, di ba? Natuman niya siyang about sa exterior inequality theorem. Exterior angle inequality theorem. So, nasayok na siya butang diha. So, in short, ang atsira na to is only activity 2A, which is very easy. So again, mentras nga clear pa sa inyong mind ang inyong nasabtan sa atong discussion, please proceed directly to answering activity 2A. In activity 2A, number 1 is already given, I mean solved, which is 2, 3, 6 lengths. Um, you can see there that tulugid ang ilang gi-apply. But in your case, since kabalo naman mo sa technique, ka pwede ra isa ka buhok, you just choose two shorter sides. Ang inyong i-add up, pwede ra inganaon ninyo. Pwede ra sa dinga ninyo ninyo. Whichever way is um, you are comfortable with, so you may choose that one. As long as you can uh, you can arrive with the correct answer. So we have here, in our example, we added 2 and 3 must be greater than 6. Sorry. 2 plus 3 is 5 actually. 5 greater than 6, that is false. And um, 2 plus 6, 3 rather, nasa example is 3, pwede mo malibog. 3 plus 6 must be greater than 2. This is 9, yes, it is greater than 2, so this is true. Last is 2 plus 6 greater than 3. Yes, it is greater than 3 because 8 is greater than 3. So, this is true. But, ang isa ka, ang isa na to ka trial is false. So, therefore, this cannot form. You just state there in your um, math answer sheet kung makaform siya or delay. So, your, your answer aside from the solution that you show, butangan din ninyo siya o conclusion, can form a triangle or cannot form a triangle. So, in this case, for the example is cannot form, it cannot form a triangle. So, anak lang ha, inyong i-answer. You show the solution, you state whether true or false, and then, Nyo din conclusion din sa tapad sa given na measurement. Cannot form a triangle or can form a triangle. 
And then you proceed to number two, number three, number four. But how about guys if if your result is equal? For example, if the given is warning example ha. Say for example if your given is two, two and six. We know that if we're going to apply the shorter adding shorter sides, we have two plus two greater than six. We know that 2 plus 2 is, um, no, no, this is not the one yet. Uh, how about this? Ah, there 3, 3, 6. If we are going to add shorter sides, 3 plus 3 should be greater than 6. But we know that 3 plus 3 is 6. And it is equal to 6. Ba? Oh, equal to 6, yeah, then it greater. What can you say about this? Can we form a triangle or not? The answer is cannot happen siya because the theorem only says that it should be the two lengths should be greater than greater gid yang ingon wala siya ningon nga pwede ra mag equal basta kay dili lang less ingon gid siya nga greater ra gyud so in, in this case nga mag equal gani siya cannot form a triangle gid na siya directly Okay, so now I think you are ready to answer activity 2, letter A. You answer number 2, number 3, and number 4. Thank you for watching and listening, everyone. I hope you learned from our video lesson this time. Goodbye.